Now I'm going to be tying the part shrimp, this way, I sit here, but on a tube. Uh, this is just a plastic tube with a fluorescent cone head. This is a small fluorescent cone head the, and the tube, the tube in the outer tube in is the, the fluorescent part at the back, uh, just to highlight the fly. Now these are both the tubing and the inner tubing and so on, and the cone come from Sean Stan, so these are all compatible, they all work together. Now, the way I'm going to actually attach it, now you've got some, these are ones that I've made up, uh, but I'll show you how I do it. You've got your inner tubing clear, uh, your outer is the fluorescent orange, and as you can see I've like cut it into sort of points. It just allows the, when you're putting the thread on and the body it tapers a wee bit easier and it's much smoother. So we've got my router tubing. I've got a, this is a tool we use for cutting the tube. Now I'm looking around about three quarters of an inch. Cuts really easy. And then use a large pair of scissors I'll just cut it into a, like a pencil point. So you've got that set there. You can either have it straight or you can cut it a single point. It's up to yourself. I've got my clear inner tubing. So what I like to do is just melt the end slightly. Allow that to cool down just below it. And then put it in. Now if you can see where I've stopped, I've stopped it there where my nail is. And left, this is like a sleeve length of tubing. Now, what a lot of people like to do is actually put the hook up inside the tube and use that as a sleeving. Uh, it's entirely up to yourself where you do that. Uh, that's just what most people like to do, so that's the way I tie quite a few of the tubes now. Uh, to hold the tubing, now we get the cut again. Cut a length, just the outer tubing, or the inner tubing, sorry. So I've got a length I can work with and tie on. And I put this onto the the needle, the tube needle. And then this is a HMH tube fly adapter with the, the pin and this holds it. Now the points are on the sides, so the tape so it's like when I tie the wing it sits in that area there. Or hackle, whatever you want. It's how the fly actually when you're tying it starts to form. But it allows just to get a nice taper onto the, the inner tubing from the outer. So basically what I've done here is I've pulled the, tightened it on the pin to the end, pushed down onto the, the outer tubing. The thread I'm going to be using is the fire orange, this one, an AO. Get on the wax route to get it started. We start the thread at this point here, just the, in the inner tubing and allow it to come up and onto the the outer, just allow the thread to build onto it. And work your way to the point where the lip, the inner tube sits there. Then what I do is a tag. I'm just using a gold holographic. Just a large or a, or a medium would be ideal. Just catch this on. Come down round about 3 mil or so. Now to protect this, I'm going to just wind over a wee touch of the super glue. That's a full of mil super glue with the brush, so it's easy to apply. Oops. You can see that's stuck there straight away. And then we can tie this in. So away. Now I'm going to basically tie the, the hair I'm using for the fly is the, the Arctic Runner in yellow. Orange and obviously black, that's going to be the wing. So for the tail is yellow and orange, and for the wing it's going to be the black. Now here, put on the, the orange first. So take off. Not too much for the size of fly. Now you'll see there's a longer guard here, we basically don't need them. Not in this fly here, so we're looking for a tube length. So it's three quarters of an inch, so that's going to be tied on the top. Use this as a measure when you're tying the fly, so that if you go bigger or smaller, your fly will go with it as well. Now just leave that at this point. Now we've got the yellow. Now this is basically the tail. So we want some of the guard here as well. 
Got it close to the skin when you remove the hair from the piece of fur that you have. So we've got our yellow, so we've got some sort of taper there. Now you're looking like the in first, the fur itself, the, the, the basically the, the softer part of the fur being on top, the tapered fibres going longer. So we tie this on the top, nice and tight, to make sure a wee bit of wax on my thread. This point I'm going to trim, so I've trimmed like a, a straight cut on the top, which will give you a taper, which will allow you the threads to work your way onto the, the inner tubing. Now I'm going to put a wee bit of flash. Now I'm using Perl Mirror Flash and Crystal Flash. In this case the Crystal Flash is orange. So the Crystal Flash is this one and then the Mirror Flash is the flat. So I want a strand of each, just lining them up. Putting this round about the length of the, the yellow fibre, the yellow hair. So we cast this on my side, take the thread down three or four turns, fold it and bring it down your side or the other side of the fly. Keeping hold of the ends, then we trim them the same length. And there we are. Now at this point I prefer just to tidy up. The thread down. As you can see it makes it easy to get a nicer body tying the or forming the tube like that and bring your thread back up. Now with the part shrimp there's some more orange on top. Not too much. The Arty Runner is a very mobile fibre. It's really nice to use. Now we're looking again the length of the tube, same length as the orange, then it goes on top. Again, we can make sure this is secure. Trim at an angle. Put wax on my thread. Tie this down. Now there's going to be two basically ribs. I'm using a gold or a copper wire. Small. There's a the wire here. So we catch this in the way back down. This is going to basically hold the, the tinsel, which is Opal Mirage. And we've got that caught on. So I'm using a medium in this size of fly. So we've got Opal Mirage and medium. And just tie this in the way down. Right up against the tail. There we are. For the dubbing, I'm actually using what they call a gold olive. It's a gold olive uh, light bright. It's a really nice colour. It goes well with this fly. So just using it as a dubbing. Just take the flash out the way. And we lightly dub it onto our thread. It's easy to dub on. And don't worry if you see some of the fire orange thread coming through. So we we'll just work our way up. Use a more dubbing. This is where the taper helps when you're winding a dubbing uh, onto like a tube or something like this. It's it's going from the outer to the, the inner tube. And as I say, I don't worry too much. There's a wee space there, you can see. It's cool, it's alright. So what I'm going to do is counter rib with the Opal Mirage. Around about three turns. Fourth turn there, I've just got it in. I'm not too fussy with this, because it's... As long as it's neat enough. And then a rib with the, the wire. Same way I turned my thread, so I'm over or counter ribbon the Mirage tinsel which will protect it. Just follow up and put a 90 degree bend into the wire with your thread, screw that in. And there we are. As I see, if you have wee spaces you can easily hide it, but the, the orange showing through, don't worry, because it's part of the colour of the fly. Then for the wing, Going to our black Arctic runner. Um, just trim away close to the skin again. Now you can see 
the longer fibres there would basically bring them in shorten the wing or just to make it a, a proper length what you're forming here is when you're putting this together and this is in the water you've got a teardrop shape so you've got a lot of movement in the fly so you're looking these tips towards the end of the tube you trim it the right length wax on my thread, set it on the top and then you can take your thread turns into these cut ends two or three times now what I'm doing here is just spreading the hair slightly to make it a wee bit better stronger just touch that wee touch of super glue wind over that, that will secure that in and it'll never move and there we are, don't worry about the odd wee fibre that's there, we can sort that out so we've got our taper, we've got our, our wing now we're going to put a wee bit of flash, so we're back to our mirror flash and the crystal flash, same same flash we used and the tail just line the ends up we can do the same thing, got two on my side come down two or three turns, fold it back keeping a hold of the flash the same length there just going to trim away some of these fine fibres now just watch your thread nearly caught it there so we get my shape, colours starting to build up first hackle I'm going to put on is a this is a dyed yellow it's a cock hackle, it's a Chinese cock hackle now what I'm going to do here is tie it in at the base of the feather, remove the fluff trim it so the stem's the right length to tie in touch your wax on your thread and then we make sure that's secure so we're looking a couple of turns depends on how good the feather is so I'm folding the, the feather as I wind went reasonably straight turns just as I say draw the fibres back Take your time. You could use your hackle pliers. I, I like to use my fingers. And catch in the hackle, follow it up, put a 9 degree bend into the feather. Make sure it's secure and we can trim away the waste. Again, just going to wax on my thread. Nice piece of thread down with the wax on it so we can tie in my, in this case we've got a badger hackle. This is dyed. I'll show you the cape. You can see it's a really it's flame orange, it's a really bright orange. Now we tie this in at the tip because I want the base part of this feather. So we tie it in at the tip. So what I'm gonna do is remove the tip, keeping these cut ends. You can but we shorten the fibres either side of the stem so you get a better grip. Nothing better than wax though to get a grip of the, the feather. So we catch this in, the nice base of thread down there, and then I like to fold the hackle once I've tied it in. And then we just work our way down. Looking for two or three turns. Just placing the turn that turn the hackle where I want. We'll follow up with the thread, 90 degree bend into the feather, secure it in. Trim away the waist, any fibres going forward we can draw back, tidy this up. Yeah, looks fine. Now we've got jungle cock. We need two eyes, two small eyes. Then on my desk. Normally I'd have these ready, but I forgot to set them out. So I've got two eyes. And then what I like to do is basically line them up. Hold the fold the eyes, you'll see the underside of the jungle coat come in, take away most of the fibres. Then we come underneath the jungle cock eye. So the length is up to yourself. 
Uh, I like a reasonable length in the jungle cock, so... Just catch it on the side, one either side, you can put them individually on. Now what I'm going to do here is just place the, the eye to suit myself. Because I've two loose turns there. I'm looking from the top down, making sure the eye is the same length. Two or three turns, no more. Then I fold back these stems. Turn them back, two or three turns. Trim away the waist. You go in quick finish. You don't have to be too tidy at this because you're going to basically, as long as you're, you're obviously tied in the feathers, but you, if you've got a, something showing, I wouldn't worry too much about it because uh, the cone head's going to tidy that up once you tie it on. If you don't want a cone head, you would just basically finish off. Uh, but anyway, we've got a quite small cone head. So see, I got these for Sean Stanton, so they're really nice. Uh, good quality, so nice paintwork on it. So what I'm going to do here is take my vise, place a super glue. I don't want to touch the, the fibre. Just placing it mainly onto the head and slightly onto the tube. And then slide the cone on, nice and tight. You can ensure it's secure. It will dry partly straight away. You can then remove it from the, the needle. And then what we have to do is trim. So I've got my large pair of scissors. Just trim the inner tube in about a mile or so from the cone. Keeping, basically, pointing your fly up, don't have it sitting like that because you can set it in fire. Basically, have it sitting up like that. Melt, tubing. You'll see that it's obviously hole still there, it's nice and tight. And there we are. Now, most people ask me, how do you fish a tube? Basically, you thread your nylon through this point, it comes out the back. Then you can tie on a single, double, treble, whatever you like. So then you basically pull the nylon through, and that would sit up in the, the inside. Take this adapter off so you can see a bit better. So basically that's your part shrimp cone head. Great wee fly, certainly a pattern that's very popular here in, this, here in Scotland and Ireland or anywhere. Uh, there's a lot of places in the world you could fish this fly. So see, you can, the tube's very adaptable, meaning that you can put whatever you like in the back. There's a single, depending on the rules of where you're fishing. Uh, obviously, a lot of we catch and release now more than anything. We turn all the fish, so they get used in barbless, barbless trebles or whatever. So anyway, that's the part shrimp. We'll put it back in, so you can see it. Nice pattern. As I say, the, the way the wings formed and the flies tied, the, this will give you a lovely teardrop shape in the water. The way the, the cone and the head gets it down a wee bit and it gives it a kick and allows the fly to pulsate and move. And the Arctic Runner uh, is, is a very mobile hare. It's very popular nowadays and certainly uh, when I'm by, this, is, this came from vineyards, this is the small patches. With this one, the orange though, I dyed it again, I put a wee bit more orange in it. The other two are straight out of the packet. Um, so basically, you just look through the packs when you look, when you're in the shop. I look for a, like a, a length much like this, it's maybe a couple of inches or so for this set of fly, and it's, it, you'll tie most most patterns. I don't like Arctic Runner and big, big flies, so I buy it to suit so a size 6s, probably down. So anyway, I hope you enjoyed that tying of the part of shrimp, so enjoy yourself, tie a few, you'll not go far wrong. Mm -hmm.